Hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a backcountry jump. Now, I'm lucky enough to have my buddy Alec here helping me with the build. The most important part about building a backcountry jump is location, location, location. Okay, so we have uh, plenty of speed here for our end run. Our landing is really steep and it's also really nice to try to build on somewhere where it plateaus or it's kind of flat. Here wasn't quite the case. So we had to build it extra tall. So our jump is probably about eight feet tall. Uh, but if you can find, um, yeah, just a slope with a nice in run, it plateaus a bit, that's a great place to build a jump. And then you link it up with that nice landing. So once you have your location, then you're just gonna wanna start digging pits and cutting blocks. So you wanna get the snow from deep down. It's more firm and you wanna use those for uh, the end of the jump and the walls. So try to cut rectangular shaped blocks so that they interlock well. And uh, especially when you're starting from the beginning, do two courses of blocks so it helps reinforce it. If you just do one course of blocks going up, once you go higher and higher, it is liable to blow out. So take, uh, take a bit of time to make sure it's reinforced at the base. Start with a good foundation and then continue cutting your blocks and making it taller. And then maybe it'll look something like this. A look at what we've done so far. You can see some nice interlocking bricks. Here's a pit. Scrape off the soft stuff and get that snow with the styrofoam-like consistency. So I try to make rectangular blocks so that they interlock better, just like a brick layer, like on a brick house. A little poke. And pop. There we go. So what we're doing is we are making a frame and we're going to fill in the center. So we use the blocks as the frame and then we fill in the center with all the loose snow. When you set a new row of blocks, it's really nice to make sure that the previous course of blocks play nicely, like they're on the same level. So everything sits nice and flat. So that's sitting flat on those two, interlocking. And then I'm just gonna shave off and even off the top. And you can use those shavings to put in between the cracks in between the blocks as well. All right, I'll put this one in the corner, <clears throat> but it's still uneven right here, like I was saying. go getting somewhere so we got one two three we got four courses I'd say like four more at least judging by the way this looks though like judging by how steep the run-in is we don't want too much of a compression so it would be smarter to build this higher and then fill in the in run as well. So sometimes uh, the shape of your shovel will make the block uneven on one end. So if you flip it upside down, it sits nicely. 
and then you can shave it from there. If you want to be a perfectionist, Where do you want this? Maybe just on this right wall here? Yeah, that's probably a good call. This came from deep. From deep? Yeah. You want to replace this top corner one? Sure. Move over, move over. <laughs> it's a very integral block here. Very careful. Whew. Excellent placement. Look at this. Uh oh. What did we get ourselves into? <laughs> Might be doing some triples today. Looks like we're almost done. That might have been a two hour build. We're pretty happy that the uh, sun is hitting the jump right now. That'll help melt it, stiffen it up a little bit, and our landing's in the shade. Can't wait to hit it. Look at the size of this beast. It's probably about uh, seven or eight feet. Well, I'm kind of lucky today because my buddy Alec is a skier and uh, it makes the run in a lot easier when your skier friend can do this. Basically the same thing as I would do with a snowboard, except I would have to trudge up the snow, strap in, slide down, and then walk back up. Where your skier friend will do twice as much work in about half the time because he's packing down the snow as he goes up and then he slips it on the way down. All right, so our jump is pretty much built. In runs looking good. So the next thing I'm going to do is just test the speed. All right, the old snowball toss. That was like a medium, medium type throw speed. Sweet spot. All right, so that's what I'm going to tell myself at the top of the jump. Medium speed, medium pop. That's the way that I try to evaluate how fast and how big to go off a jump. Just try to work it out for yourself. What is slow? What is medium? What is fast? And then you can even think, you know, medium fast, medium slow. That's about the best I can come up with, but uh, just have it make sense for you. And, uh, and then you also, there's also that speed to pop ratio that you need to think about. So the faster you go, the less you need to pop. The slower you go, the more you need to pop. So in this case, I'm going to go medium speed and medium pop. And I think I'm going to land sweet spot. I like it. I think that's the drop in. Rochambeau for first. Best out of three. Winner takes all, buddy. Winner takes all, okay. So one, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. You gotta go first. Holy shit. 
Oh boy. <sighs> Nervous. He got it. So right now I am analyzing my run in and pop off the jump. So I'm going, my first trick is going to be a front side 720. So I am imagining exactly where my heel side takeoff is. And then I work my way backwards. So then I see where my edge changes from my toes. And then I'm evaluating the size of my toe side turn. So I'm going to do a really wide radius toe side turn, change edges at the compression. And then at that compression, I, after that, I go to my heels and that's how I'm going to set myself up for this jump. So how to build and hit backcountry jumps. All right, so that jump is bigger than I thought. Front seven melon came around too quick. I'm going to go with uh, front seven tail this time. Slow down the rotation. Last time I went, I thought I was going slow, so I popped really hard off the lip, which made me cork way too much, and I overshot pretty easy. So, slower, front seven, tail grab. Went for it! <laughs> Woohoo! What a day! Tried some double cork 10s for the first time. Uh, didn't line any, and uh, just going for a fun back seven tail this time, and uh, going to wear the GoPro and show you what it's like. Dropping in five. Yeah, went too quick on that. Hope you guys liked the video, learned a thing or two about building jumps, tried uh, some tricks for the first time. Not a lot of success, but definitely a lot of fun. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you liked the video, like, subscribe, comment. Woo! Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next week.